This is Circus Fit. I'm Carrie, and today I would like to show you more straddle work. So these exercises are really great to improve the endurance and strength of your straddle. So if you tend to bend your knees a little bit when doing exercises in the air, doing straddle ups and stuff, you have trouble keeping your knees straight and your toes pointed and your, your legs are a little bit shortened, you wanna lengthen your lines, these are some exercises that can be really, really useful for you. So let's get started. First, we're going to warm up a little bit into the straddle. So I'm not gonna spend too much time on this. You can always go to my other stretching splits and straddles videos and go deeper into that. We're just gonna get a little bit juicy. So make sure your straddle is pretty warm before we do this. So come into a wide leg forward fold. Stick your butt up into the air. Straighten your knees if you can. And then wiggle your hips one side and then the other. So you're kind of shifting a little bit of weight to the right a little bit of weight to the left. So we're getting into our hamstrings a little bit here. Take a little bend of one knee and a bend of the other. And now turn your toes out and give me some spider lunges side to side. So now we're already getting into that training of the straight leg. So the leg that is straight, the knee is straight, the toe is pointed and we're externally rotated so the knee and foot are rotating up towards the sky, not forward, up towards the sky. And as we change sides, right away that straight leg, point the toe and straighten the knee. Go nice and slowly. So this isn't about how many that we can do, this is about training the legs to stay straight and pointed when we're stretching in our straddle. And this spider lunge is very similar to a straddle in the way that we're using our legs. So I really like to use it as a warm up. Yeah, if you want, you can take your hands off the floor, but again, we're focusing on the length of the leg, the toe point and the knee straight. So we're engaging the quad, we're engaging the muscles that straighten the knee and point into the toe each time we go side to side. Really about quality as opposed to quantity. Now let's go over to the right side. So right knee is bent. Turn into a squared lunge here. Straighten the back left knee up and pull the belly in and then drop that left hip down. Come back towards your spider lunge. Right away, you should be already still pointing and straightening your knee. Go to the other side, point that right leg. Now shift it over, keep that right leg straight and drop that right hip towards the floor. Keep the knees straight and press down. Come back to your spider lunge. Last thing before we go into straddle, come over to the right knee, right knee bent. Now come into your lunge and turn it out into a lizard lunge. So the right toes turn out to, towards the right. Back knee can come down and go deep into that right leg. The right knee is pressing out towards the right. So we're really getting into, getting into like an opening of the hip and the inner thigh. Come back into your spider lunge, point and straighten, and then go to the other side, point and straighten, and go all the way into your lizard lunge, turn the left toes out towards the left, left knee out towards the left, back knee down, and you can even give yourself a little twist. Back knee is long, try to straighten it if you can. So remember the point of this. The point is not to increase our flexibility right now, it's not flexibility training, it's how to use the flexibility that we already have. So this is just a warm up. All right, coming into our straddle. Ah, so let's juice it up a little bit, take some circles, around with your lower back into your hips and pelvis and go the other way. Legs are somewhat relaxed here. And if you're feeling extra tight, just spend a little bit more time kind of loosening up into the groin or into the hips if you're feeling extra tight. So here we go. Opening up into our straddle, point the toes and straighten the knees. We're going to do 10 knee straighteners. So I like to bring my fingers onto my knees or above my knees and engage the lower quadricep right above your knees and point your toes the whole time. Sit up tall. If you're having trouble sitting up tall, sit on a block. 
And you can also bring your hands a little bit behind you to help stay tall. So we don't want to slump ever anywhere in our bodies in this exercise. Straightening the knees for 10, 9. So we straight and relax. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And hold it straight. Hold your legs straight. Point your toes. We're holding, if you can, even sit up taller, sit up taller, straighten these pointed toes. Our legs are super engaged here. Great, shake it out or keep holding. So if you need to shake it out, shake it out. If you need to, if you can, keep holding. Bring your hands back again. And now we're going to do 10 more leg straighteners. The knees, toes stay pointed, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and hold for ten, nine, eight, seven, knees are really straight, six, five, four, three, two, one, shake it out if you need to, hold it if you can, now take both hands across over, so um, framing your right leg, now keep that knee straight, we're going to try to lift that leg off the floor without bending the knee, so if you have to bend the knee, don't do don't do that. Just think of think of lifting your leg. Here we go. Lifting the leg for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Going to the other side. If you get a cramp, shake it out. Other side. Make that make sure that knee is straight. Both of them should still be straight here. Frame your leg. Straight, 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 and lift for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Four, three, two, one. All right, shake it out if you need. Keep it super straight if you can. Uh-oh, need to shake it out. No worries. Bring your hands to the middle and reach your chest forward. And now we're going to lift both legs at the same time. Point the toes straight in the knees and go for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So your legs probably, like mine, came a little bit in. That's okay. Right after that exercise, open them up again. Straighten the knees, point the toes, and reach forward into your straddle. So don't relax your legs here. We're not working on a soft, passive stretch. We're working on active flexibility, using the flexibility that we already have. So stretch it on forward. Legs are really active, like they're trying to crank open even more just by the strength of the, the legs themselves. So with that, it's a very safe stretch because we're not using gravity. We're actually using the strength of our own muscles to open up. And we're reaching the chest forward, reaching the belly button forward, externally rotating the legs. We'll hold it here for 10 more seconds. Nice and strong. You might be like all the way down or you might be up here at your maximum. It's okay. Legs are straight, reach long. If you're hunched in your back, Stop this video right away and go back into just flexibility exercises. You don't want to be doing these exercises unless you can sit straight in your straddle. All right. Woo! All right. Close it up. Take a little butterfly. Flap your wings. And let's apply this into our abs work. So to help with straddle ups, straddle inversions, um, handstand straddles, all the things. Here we go. Okay, lay down onto your back. Open up into your straddle. Just make sure it feels real good. You don't need to make any adjustments. And close your legs up into a pike position. Legs together, knees are straight, toes are pointed. While we're here, work on those knees really, really straight. Um, and flex and point your feet just a couple times because that's really good work. Oftentimes when we start to flex and point our feet, our knees bend a little bit. Make sure that's not happening. Great, now go to a pointed toe, knees are super straight, and slice through the air into straddle, back into pike. Straddle and pike, straddle and pike. So we're nice and warm here. We can kind of just go for it. We'll do five more for five, four, three, two, one. Now go into your straddle and hold it there. So imagine that you're trying to, just with your legs straight and your toes pointed, when you're trying to reach your legs towards the floor. We're very active here. A lot of work is happening. Actively reach your legs towards the floor to open your straddle even more. 
Yeah. Now make little circles in one direction with your whole leg. Tiny little circles. And little circles in the other direction. Really detailed work. Knees are straight, toes are pointed. If you have to take breaks here, take breaks, but don't do this with floppy legs. Yeah. Well, just for fun, let's bring our arms through the middle and do 10 little crunches for 10, nine long legs, eight, so we're seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So we're integrating the use of the strong long leg with abs now. This makes it even harder, all right? Taking the head down, bring your hands next to the hips. Little teeny lifts. Think of lifting your pubic bone up towards the sky and keeping your legs long and wide. So don't close your legs. Lifting the pubic bone for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Woohoo! Shake it out if you need. If you can, keep holding it here. And so now we're going to do a little tiny lift. So the legs come towards the head and lift the booty up. Maybe your toes touch the floor and then come back down to your wide straddle. So don't close the legs here, keep them super open and just lift the booty, touch the toes towards the floor, come back to your wide straddle. Lift the booty, touch the toes, come back to your wide straddle. We'll do eight more. Seven. Six, five, four, knees are straight, toes are pointed, three, take breaks when you need, don't cheat, two, one. So taking a break isn't cheating, doing it incorrectly is cheating, we're training technique here. Just remembering, just reminding you that a lot taking it into the next version of this. So just moving your legs a little bit away from you and then back and through and a little lift of the booty. So we're just kind of doing a half straddle up range of motion, working through that area that oftentimes people are like, it clicks or it hurts. So if it's clicking or hurting, lift your legs up just a little bit and explore that click or hurt, clicking, um, see if you can fix it. If it's still clicking, especially if it's hurting, stop. Take a little break. Let's do two more. All right. So I'm going to take a little break and talk. Uh, you can bring your knees together and talk about the painful clicking that happens. If that's happening to you, don't do this video. You need to go talk to your in-person coach or come see me in person and we'll work with it. Right? Yeah. Thank you. So, coming back into our straddle, bring our hands next to our hips, and we'll do full straddle ups. Bring your legs all the way together into like a banana position, and then lift your legs wide, 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 and then lift your booty up and touch your toes towards the floor. Here we go, drawing the booty down, keep the legs super wide, and then come into your banana and into your straddle. So, we do this a lot in other videos that I have. Having it be the last exercise of this sequence makes it a little bit harder because our legs are, have already been working really hard for like well over 10 minutes now. So this is a super good leg workout and ab workout. I don't know how many that is. Let's do four more. Legs are long, toes are pointed. Trying to fold yourself in half so we're not, we're trying not to lift our butt up too high actually here. Let's do our last one together. Legs are long. Come back to your banana and now open into your straddle. Last thing, 10 more open close pike. So pike, slice through the air. 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Now open it up. If you want, take a little passive, bend your knees, let your feet relax, shake it out a little bit. And a little great exercise is to bring your feet nice and wide 
and bring one knee forward and the other knee forward. That should feel really good after all of that work. Take a deep breath. <sighs> Woo -hoo. All right. How is that? So that is your straddle legs workout. Active flexibility. So as we're gaining more flexibility with passive flexibility, we want to gain more active flexibility so we can use the flexibility that we have in the air doing our tricks without hurting ourselves and also it looks a lot better. So if you have any questions or comments, feel free to ask, feel free to comment and requests for other exercises to do in my videos. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Hope to see you soon here at Casa Chango, Mexico.